I am engineer Paco Inongene Ivo, and the project you see here is titled Automatic Controlled Toolgate. Lately, the head of state for Cameroon, President Pobia, has been talking about turning Cameroon into an emergent economy by 2035 and also turning Cameroon into a digital economy. So this project you see here is going to solve two major problems at our tool gates. The first problem this, this project is going to solve is actually improving the speed of traffic at the tow gates. And the second problem that this project is going to solve is actually the efficient collection of revenue at our tow gates. This system is made up of the following. You have two sensors and two gates. When a car comes in from the inlet, that's the entry, a sensor at the first gate is going to detect the car. When the sensor detects the car, the first gate opens automatically so that the car enters into the payment booth. While in the payment booth, the motorist using his car has one of two methods to pay his toll fee. Either he pays using a travel card or he pays using a toll ticket. Either method that he uses when transaction is affected, the second gate is going to automatically open. When the second gate opens automatically, the motorist goes out. Upon going out, a sensor at the second gate detects that the motorist has gone out. And so, the second gate closes. When the second gate closes, the system resets so that the next motorist can use the toll gate. Let us have a simulation of the system. Assuming we have a car which comes in and passes on top of the first sensor. As you can see, the first gate opens. When the car gets into the payment booth, the first gate closes. In the payment booth, the motorist has one of two methods to pay, like we said. So if he decides to pay using his travel card, he presses one on the keypad and inserts his travel card. Transaction goes on and deduction is being done from the money which is found in the, in the, in the travel card. So the second gate opens automatically once the transaction has been effected for the motorist to go out. So if the motorist goes out, the second sensor detects that he has gone. So the, the second gate closes automatically and the system resets so that the next motorist can come in. Let us look at the second method of payment of a toll fee at the toll gate, which is actually using the, the uh, toll ticket. So if the motorist comes in, and passes, the first gate opens, he enters in, into the payment booth, the first gate closes. When the first gate closes, he, he can pay his toll fee using, the, travel, using the, 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 the toll ticket. On doing that, he needs to press 2 on the keypad. So when he presses 2, he's going to be prompted to enter his serial number. So we have a predetermined serial number for simulation purpose, which is 2016. 0101222222. The moment that is done, the second gate opens. When the second gate opens, the motorist goes out and passes on top of the second sensor. Hence, the second gate closes. So when this is done, the system resets again and waits for the next motorist to come. Who can either have either a travel car or a serial or a, a toll ticket. So that is how this, this project is going to help our country. As you can see, there is no human involvement in the collection of revenue. And the collection of revenue is 100% efficient since it is digital. Now, we can incorporate uh, our mobile services like MTN Mobile Money, Orange Mobile Money into the payment service so that a, a motorist does not need to want to, to doubt how he's going to pay. He just needs to load his, uh, his account, his mobile money account, so that upon uh, inserting the travel card, money is deducted automatically from the mobile money account. So that is how our system, our system operates basically. Now, noting that it is a prototype which will be worked upon to further improve aspects like security and uh, other related issues with, uh, with targets. Thank you very much. Thank you.